Hey guys, in this video I'm just going to explain a little bit about Kerf, uh, so laser Kerf and how to offset your drawing to allow for that laser Kerf. So <clears throat> if we take a look at this, I've already offset a line and I'll show you how to do it in a second, but I'm just showing you this first to hopefully it makes a bit more sense. The shape that you see with the yellow perimeter is my original shape, the size that I want it to be cut out in real life when I'm finished. We need to allow for the waste or the kerf of the laser beam. So if you think of the kerf of the laser beam as a round circle that will move along this line, they'll end up being waste. And I've figured out on our machine that it's 0.1 of a millimeter either side of that line. If I was to tell the laser to run along the profile edge, I would end up making my shape 0.1 of a millimeter smaller. And then that would mean that I'd get a sloppy fit and components that were designed to click together would not click. So that is why I need to offset the geometry of my shape by 0.1 of a millimeter and then um, make the shape bigger just for the laser cut and then I'll get my uh, required outcome. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how we do that process. So I'm just going to delete this sketch and before I start I'm going to do a save as um, I'll just call this test piece for now um, but you would call it your offset by 0.1 is what I'd get you to call it and then that way you'll have two files one which will be the side and one which will be the offset so if we take a look at this one now which will be that face there what you do to offset is you click on the surface create sketch project geometry and then we're using project geometry so I don't have to redraw the, the shape and instead of selecting just a line, I'm going to hover over the whole thing, left click, and then if you remove your mouse, you'll see that the computer has traced the perimeter of this shape for me. I want to go 0.1 of a mil bigger the whole way around, so I find this little tool here under Modify, which is Offset. I select my profile, I pull it outwards. This part's really important. A lot of students today were pulling it inwards by mistake and then putting in 0.1 and they've made their whole job 0.1 smaller or the extrude just didn't work. So you want it to be bigger and you're going to go 0.1 of a mil. Now you're hardly going to see it unless you zoom in and so you zoom in and we now have that border around our drawing 0.1 of a mil bigger. Finish your sketch because all you've done is drawn a border you haven't actually changed the size of it. You're now going to go extrude zoom in using the mouse and scroll in and then select the profile and what you'll find is that it's probably thinking that you want to go up from that surface we want to go down and we only want to go down the thickness of the material we're dealing with so in this case it's three mil so in theory i've now made this shape 0.1 of a mil bigger the whole way around super important that I did a save as before I modified it that way all my detailed drawings and all the rest of it will uh, will not change and this file will just be independent on, on its own so with that what I would do is I go okay I've now got the shape that I I want it's 0.1 of a mil bigger the whole way around if I select this surface right click export face as and then you're going to go DXF and you can see here here's all the exports that I've done before in previous videos these are here's a 0.15 of when I was trialing um, but 0.1 seems to be working best for us so I'm not going to bother saving this because I think I've done this about five times now and taught it in class but that's where you would just save it and you're going to create this AutoCAD DXF file so that's where you'd save I'll just see how going for time. I might make this. Oh, it's not telling me the time. Uh, I'll keep going. So, <clears throat> actually, I'll make another video out of that one. 
Thank you, Sangha.